guys, it's Miss Jessica again. You remember earlier today, we were looking at vocabulary words all about camping. There's our tent for our camping. We're gonna read a story about someone named Froggy. And Froggy goes camping too. This book is called Froggy Goes to Camp by Jonathan London. It was summer. Froggy woke up and jumped on his bed. Boing, boing, boing. He was so excited, he bumped his head on the ceiling. Bonk! And fell down. Froggy called his father. What? Up and at him. Today's the day you go to camp and run amok. Froggy's about to go to camp. How do you think he feels? Do you think he feels sad? Or happy and excited? Froggy hopped out of bed, got dressed, zap, zip, zoop, zup, zut, 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 and flopped into the kitchen. I think he's feeling excited. Have you got everything? asked his mother. Of course, said Froggy. So dad said, let's go. and off they went. So they're driving over to the camp. Uh-oh. Oh no, cried Froggy. An hour later, I forgot my sleeping bag. Hmm, I think that was one of our vocabulary words. So here we have the word sleeping bag. Two hours later, oh no, my swimsuit. Oh, froggy. And they turned the car back around. By the time they got to Camp Runamuck, there was a little bug. It was sunset. I don't know anybody here, cried froggy. I want to go home. It's okay, come meet your bunk mates or your friends. That's kind of like his classmates. Welcome to Camp Runamuck, said Jordan, his counselor, and led them to Froggy's cabin. It was called Wildcats. His bunk mates were two toad twins and an otter named Yasha. Yasha was nice, and he let Froggy have the top bunk. So Froggy waved goodbye to his family. Here they are, this is a bunk. A bunk bed has a bed at the bottom and a bed at the top. So it looks like they're having a lot of fun, right? It looks like his friend is tickling him with a feather. Welcome campers, said Mr. Mugwort. Listen up, today's your swim test. Tomorrow swimmers will race to the raft on the lake at the crack of dawn. That's really early. But now it was time for breakfast. What's Froggy eating? He's eating bugs. Do you eat bugs? Froggy passed the swim test. He played with a bow and arrow. Oops, you have to be very careful. Here is Froggy getting ready to go swimming in the lake. It's so hot, they all jump inside the lake and do a cannonball and they get their counselor, Mr. Mugwort, all wet. Now it's Thursday and they're in the dining hall and they have a food fight. But we don't do that, right? We don't throw food, that's not very nice. And on Friday, they went in a kayak. It's like a type of boat. Remember when we talked about different vehicles that travel on the water? A rowboat or a kayak was probably one of those types of vehicles. And they fell in, silly froggy. And then they had a water gun fight. It looks like froggy's having a lot of fun. And then they had scary stories over by 
the campfire. When Froggy's family came in the morning, they asked him if he had fun. And Froggy sang all the way home, Dear Mama Duck, Dear Papa Duck, It's fun here at Camp Run Amok. The end. So we can see in this picture that Froggy is at camp and I see trees, just like the forest and the trees in this picture. Froggy also sits on a log at one point. Let's find the picture when they tell stories. There's some logs, they're not sitting on it. They actually use the logs for the campfire. And Froggy spends his days sleeping and hanging out in his tent at camp. So it's actually not a tent, it's a cabin. Miss Jessica was wrong. This is a cabin. This up here is a tent. Froggy doesn't actually sleep in a tent. He's staying in a wooden cabin, just like this one. So I hope you guys are having just as much fun at our little digital camp as Froggy's having at Camp Run Amok. I'll see you guys later. Bye.